The price of lithium, wow. It just continues to plummet to astounding levels that absolutely nobody predicted. What does this mean for what you will be paying for an electric car? What does this mean for the industry? Well, they're two entirely separate things. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm the Electric Viking. Thank you for tuning in. My name's Sam Evans. I'm coming to you from Melbourne in Australia. And it's fantastic to have all you new subscribers. Welcome to the channel. Welcome back, everyone else. Thank you to our Patreon supporters. Everything you do, it means we exist. Basically, you guys are the reason. Thank you so much, YouTube members. Same to you. If you'd like to be a YouTube member or a Patreon, I'll put links in the description below. Lithium prices have gone down by around 64% this year 64 percent now there's two different types of lithium indexes one is battery grade materials and the other one is basically the raw lithium now the price of raw lithium has come down more percentage wise than the price of the lithium that goes into batteries or battery grade lithium but both of them have come down by more than 60 percent I hope you sold your lithium stocks when I suggested it. Can't outright say it, otherwise I'll get fined and maybe kicked off YouTube, who knows. But I did say that I'd sold my lithium stocks a few months ago, before this collapse began. The key reason for that, that I know many of you saw coming as well as I did, was that the incoming sodium explosion, sodium batteries are about to arrive in a big, big way, would drive down the cost of lithium, would drive down the cost of batteries. All of this really leads to a really good thing. That is the falling cost of electric cars. Now, it is true that most electric car manufacturers make a loss on EVs, but they are paying or had been paying a lot of money for lithium batteries or just for the lithium itself. But now, because of the amazing declines in the cost of lithium, that means that the most expensive part of a car will be significantly cheaper. In fact, it already is. All of this has meant that battery prices have come down by around 20 to 25% this year. So if you combine the fact that battery prices have come down by that much with the fact that the energy density of batteries has increased this year, and it most certainly has, don't listen to the naysayers telling you otherwise, they would like to just think the, school, the sky is falling down, chicken little, chicken little, chicken little, not true. My friends, energy density has improved. You'll see it with Tesla vehicles within the next few months. You'll see it with, in fact, we're already seeing it with EVs in China, receive, getting up to a thousand kilometers of range. But the latest generation battery technology, not only are they getting better pack density, they're also getting better energy density at lower prices. You can imagine what this is gonna to lead to. Cheaper cars, cheaper EVs with longer range. Plus, the market is being destabilized. Car manufacturers are literally fighting a war right now, a war for market share. What else could possibly explain the fact that they're all selling below cost? Pretty much all of them below cost. Now let's have a look at the actual prices and where they're likely to go. Now where they're likely to go is even crazier than what's already happened. The current cost of industrial grade lithium has just fallen below 200,000 RMB. That's 29,000 US dollars. Now it probably doesn't sound cheap, but it is because the price was nearly 60,000 US dollars not that long ago. But the thing is, analysts are predicting that this market is about to go nuclear. I mean, utterly nuclear. So lithium carbonate prices, first of all, have dropped by more than 60%. However, they're predicted to drop another 100,000 RMB, meaning they're predicted to halve again and come down all the way to 14,500 US dollars. That's what analysts are saying. Now, I don't know if they're right. If they are right, what does that mean? Lithium batteries will be unbelievably affordable and cheap. I mean, we're mass manufacturing batteries, right? We're hitting that scale where economies of scale, you build more of something, they're cheaper. We're doing that at the same time as energy density due to improved chemistries has been become better. And then we're seeing lithium prices come down by, if this happens, that will be an 80% fall in the price of lithium. That's the triple header, massively lowered lithium prices, better energy density, and massive scale. That'll all bring the price of packs down by probably 50% by the end of this year. Bigger ranges are coming. EVs will be cheaper than gasoline powered cars by the end of 2025. A Volvo CEO said it himself. He said 2026, I'm saying 2025. 
it's happening. Now, what's really interesting about this is what the Chinese are saying. The Chinese pretty much control the lithium supply. They have the majority of it. More than 80% of lithium is refined in China. However, they say that in 2022, the supply and demand for lithium carbonate and lithium hydroxide were actually in balance. CNF Post says, there was a lot of hype behind the price surge, Farasis Energy's Chairman Wang Yu said in an interview with China EV100. However, Wang said that based on the situation this year, the price of lithium carbonate will drop rapidly. And I think Wang is actually right. I mean, if you have a look at the profits of some of these lithium refineries, have a look at the profits of companies like CATL, who made billions and billions of dollars in record profits, have a look at BYD making record profits. It does appear as though rather than the actual situation that Toyota has painted this picture for us, Toyota has made it look like there's not enough lithium. That's why lithium is so expensive. That's why batteries are so expensive because there's this massive problem. It can't be solved. Actually, Toyota has no idea what they're talking about. There's more than enough lithium, which is why the price has come down by nearly 65% and is still in free fall. As a result of all of this, we're going to see much cheaper EVs by the end of the year. EV market share will continue eat into gasoline powered vehicles. By the end of 2025, EVs will be on par and in many cases cheaper than gasoline powered vehicles. This is already happening in China. It's only a matter of time before it happens in whatever country you're watching this video from. Thank you for watching.